Hey y'all, it's me, Malibu Darby. Welcome to my channel. If it's not your first time watching, welcome back. Today, I'm doing a quick review on the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I have seen a lot about this product. I'm a little late to the bus, but it's for a reason. So without further ado, if you've already made it this far, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button over here. We are on the road to 10,000. Go ahead and hit the notification bell as well so you can always know when I post. And let's go ahead and jump into it if you would like to see my review on this very well raved product stay tuned okay y'all so first a little bit about the product you know i'm going to give you all the info in the background and the deets check out the description box below i'm going to start doing time cards for um a little bit of like where you can see where my opinion starts where my final review starts so you can kind of jump around the video if you like but to start for milk makeup honestly this is a company in general that i kind of glazed over um i feel like when companies don't market to what i feel like is like my brand or my style i don't really pay attention to them so example like kat von d is like girl come get this full beat um yoma is like hey black girl we got products so if it's like not a full beat or they really focus on black girls like if it's not something that i do often i don't pay attention to it so often like the glaciers and the milks i don't really look at to me milk is a little bit more like um natural or a little bit more like uh skin like i don't see a ton of like darker complexions and their marketing and stuff like that so i never paid attention to it but i started hearing jackie rave about this primer and then slowly but surely like i just started seeing it more and more facebook's probably watching me um but i was in sephora and i just wanted to buy something and i said let me go ahead and try this primer i was out of my go-to primer so i got it so i'm going to give you guys a rundown of the details what it does and what it don't do um so the first details this size is the um one and a half ounce this retails for thirty dollars sephora does have minis um but it's like a third of the product for only half the price so i just went ahead and dove head first into the full size bottle um super like i said highly reviewed uh high ratings as far as every site's reviews um it is claims to be a hydrating makeup gripping gel primer formulated with extracts of hemp um cannabis seed and blue agave honestly whenever i see anything about cannabis seed and hemp right now because of the cbd and everything i'm kind of like is this a gimmick like is that really doing something for my face they recommend it for normal dry combination and oily skin and if you have concerns of um, loss of firmness elasticity dryness and dullness now i will say the application of this primer is different than a lot that i've seen before so they recommend to put two pop two shots of this primer on the back of your hand and blend it onto your face before makeup what's different is they say that you need to allow a minute for this to absorb into your skin and kind of activate the hydro gripping i will say that i tried it both ways let it sit on your skin it really does make a difference if you go in immediately versus if you let it kind of sit in um they also said you can layer your foundation on it or you can wear it with no makeup and i will say i wore it a couple times with just no makeup and it definitely does give you like an enhanced version of your skin so i like that um, as far as ingredients like i said it says that the hemp is supposed to hydrate and have antioxidant benefits um the blue agave is what helps group the makeup and it has hyaluronic acid and if you are for skincare girl you already know how we feel about hyaluronic acid so i was excited to see that so that is kind of the basic details on this primer um what i think it does do i've actually used it to apply today i think it gives you a skin like finish i think it gives you a nice little do i think that it does grip the makeup it is really like this weird like locking kind of effect that you do feel um even when i used it and i put powder on top of the primer before i did my foundation i definitely could like feel it like the stuff sticks to it which is good so i do like it for that i definitely think especially i could really see if you had dry skin i could see how this is your jam so i definitely like it for that what it does not do she does not mattify she does not oil absorb none of those things i will say you can use it if you're oily because i'm an oily girl and i still continue to use it but i would say use your like i'm oily combo products so like set your makeup with powder put powder on after your primer like do the things to balance the fact that this isn't mattifying this isn't going to soak up all your oil yourself if you are level 10 oily like serious oily girl grease slick after an hour i would not recommend this primer for you 
personally personally um maybe this would be good for you if you're looking just to put it on your skin but if you're doing a full face like full beat all your products i would recommend something a little bit more mattifying i do love the finish of it i feel like it gives a really nice like skin like natural finish so i'm into that but i just don't know if i would recommend it for super oily girls but like i said i like it enough that i am willing to like put the powder on my primer put powder on my face after to balance it because i do like how it holds my makeup and i even mixed a little bit of it in um with my concealers and stuff and i feel like they did not shift so i do like it for that 30 dollars is not cheap for a primer um so i wouldn't say it's something you have to run out and grab but especially for summer when i'm looking for a little bit of a little bit of glow in the forehead and like a little bit of a little more natural skin y'all know i use natural very lightly um i do like it so I do think it lives up to the positive reviews. I wouldn't say everybody has to run out and buy this, but I do think it's a good um, primer to have in your artillery, especially if you are dry, then I do think this definitely lives up to the hype. Um, like I said, I use it today. I have worn it for quite a while now. So I've actually had this for a while and I feel like looking at the bottle, this product lasts. So I feel like the $30 is justified. And I think if you're a girl who's a primer girl you understand that primers can get a little expensive but it's because you need them and you're going to put them on every time you wear your makeup so that is just a quick video i wanted to do on the milk hydro grip primer um if you have any questions please leave those in the description box or i'm sorry leave those in the comments i will link the um purchasing link to this for sephora or the milk website whichever one in the description box let me know if there's any primers that you guys would like me to try and i will see you in the next video